Okay, hey, we got a little update. Okay, so this is day two of the Ardex glass box test. So this has been sitting in water for 48 hours. Just to prove to you, today is November 14th, almost five in the afternoon. So I've been out of the office today. I just came back and was really surprised at what I saw. Okay, keep in mind, this is 48 hours, two days after I filled it up. Um, And what we have here, you can see we already have water coming through at the bottom. These ones up at the top, I, be I believe, are from the thin set wicking up and over the band, which I'm not worried about because this would have membrane going up a wall and it wouldn't be able to creep over and behind. But this one here is definitely coming from the bottom and I can see it from up underneath too. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what we got going on here. Okay, so here's our glass box. You can see we got a little film on here. That's probably from the 8 plus 9. Kind of an oily film that's sitting on there. Just interesting to note, but yeah, so you can see our water. You can see our water line. And you can see where it's wicking up in the thin set. Let me zoom in here. See, you can see how the thin set is wicking up, and I believe it's going up and over that band right there. Especially on this side, it's going up and over, and that's how we're getting that spot. But this spot down here, there's definitely, it's coming from that band under there. So, so if, I were, if I were to peel this band off, you would see that it, the water has crept in either from here or from here but it's definitely gone all the way two inches to give us a wet spot right there. So anyways, this is kind of in line with my hypothesis. I said a couple days you would start to see water forming. It's consistent with all my other testing. And this is the spot that you're probably gonna see continue to grow. Stay tuned, this is day two. We'll see you on the next update. Okay, hey, what's up everybody? I'm back, it is Monday, so this is sat over the weekend, and you can see the uh, wet spots forming here in my glass box test, so again, just to prove it, it is, again, just to prove it, so today is November 18th, it's a Monday, and so this is uh, day six of this flood test, and we definitely have some water spots going on and I wanna show you what's going on. Okay, so what we're looking at, this is the side. So this is the half on this side that didn't have the eight plus nine, just our regular Ardex SK175. This side over here on the back side, that had the eight plus nine over it. So the side without the eight plus nine, you can see definitely water has come in here and again after 48 hours this started to form obviously it's gotten worse um, our corners have actually gotten a lot worse and originally I had thought it was leaking from up over the top but as you can see um, over here it's not coming from the top it's actually coming from the side um, these two spots here are obviously wicking from the top but um, important to note this is all wet and underneath I can see it is all wet all the way down through the bottom underneath. So here's a little bit better look. This is the side without the eight plus nine. When I go over to the side, um, nothing on this side. Um, there's a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit coming through right here. And that's coming over the top. But as you come on the side with the eight plus nine, there is nothing, I mean it is, it is bone dry, all on the side that has the eight plus nine. The thing I've been noting is this oily film that must be coming from the eight plus nine. You can see it's this um, oil, and I don't know why that's kicking off from the eight plus nine, but uh, maybe somebody else knows. But again, 
the side with the 8 plus 9 is doing really well, completely bone dry, and the side without it, there's quite a big difference here. So again, this is after six days, pretty extreme test. Okay, so you can see uh, the difference between the side with the 8 plus 9 and the side without. So I've got a lot of questions. People ask me a lot, you know, they just think it's overkill that I do, you know, put the A plus nine when the manufacturer says you don't need to. I've had a brief conversation with the Ardex rep who said, we have no problem with you putting A plus nine over the SK-175, you just don't need to. Well, you might not need to, but I'm thinking, when I do my testing, I'm thinking of real world or real job site conditions and the issues that job sites pose and also not just job site conditions, but um, my installers. So I have five employees and I want to know when my employees go out and do waterproofing, which our company is liable for, that we're doing, that we're taking as many variables out that could lead to a failure. You know, if this system is done perfectly without the eight plus nine, it's gonna work. But what happens if there's a little wrinkle in the band and it just leaves like a little pinhole for water to travel through? Or what happens if, or what happens if there's a little low spot and it causes water to just sit in one spot? Well, if that water's sitting, you see what happens. And this isn't a matter of pressure. I get a lot of people who say, well, this, this is creating pressure. It has nothing to do with it. And if you wanna see an example of that, Check out my Curdy sprinkler test where I don't fill it up. I just have a constant drip of water on it and it acts the exact same way. That is why I do it this way. That is why we've been building our showers this way. I feel that a roll-on membrane that is completely waterproof is the best way to go. But I also like having uh, the polyethylene sheet membrane under it. To me, um, that way you're lapping up between the floor and the wall and you're not creating a space where just a simple split in a membrane can cause a failure like as you saw in my Weddy test. This to me is the best way to do it. If you watch the build video of this display here, you'll see that putting the 8 plus 9 on it is just took took me about another 10 minutes. I mean it was it's not a big deal. You know, you have some material cost in it, but to me, if I'm building a five ten thousand dollar shower, what's adding another hundred dollars of material to it, knowing that it's going to be completely waterproof. So anyways, that's my take on it. I'm loving hearing from you. I'm getting a lot of emails every day. I'm getting a bunch of messages on Instagram. Um, so find me on Instagram at Tile Coach. Shoot me an email if you have any questions. I love getting the feedback. Guys, it's a journey. It's not about a destination. One thing I see so many guys early in business get into is they want to get into this get rich quick thing. If my experience is any guide to success, just build your business slow and try to make a difference. And it doesn't need to be on a grand scheme. You make the difference in one person's life and that's huge. Imagine how that'll make you feel and imagine if everybody did that. If everybody started caring about one another and taking care of each other, just think what our world and our community could be. So keep it up guys. You can make a difference. You, that's you watching this video can make a difference in somebody's life no matter how small. So be good guys. I love you. I love being your tile coach. We'll see you on the next video.